one of the reasons I started this project was that the first time I ever did it, it was being staged in an abandoned health clinic on the Lower East Side of New York. And I have to say, I'm not sure I would ever have concocted this piece had it been somewhere else. Um, but I did start to think about how doctors and photographers are the only people who can really get up close to people and be in your face. And it's okay. And that there's a certain entryway that people allow you because of these two, for lack of trades. And that, you know, photographers and doctors examine people. So that's kind of a shared trait. I mean, I think that they, we perform slightly different services, although I have to say, which has been interesting in this piece, occasionally uh, someone will ask to have something photographed that they don't like about their body, but I make a picture that they think is interesting or beautiful. And so they rethink that body part and feel better about it. So there have been a number of people who feel better about themselves by didn't that they, they like the picture. So, <clears throat> I mean, I don't build this as a healing experience, but I think sometimes it does actually have that. Hopefully people are not as nervous about coming here and they have much more of a say about what happens to them than they do in a doctor's office. The one thing that has amazed me and continues to amaze me is you put on a white coat and people tell you things. I mean, it's really kind of, it's amazingly powerful. I have no idea what it must be like to be a doctor. It must be kind of overwhelming. But people come in and they just start to talk to you about stuff you didn't imagine them telling you. Well, the process is that it sort of works like a regular doctor's office. You, you come in and you, fill, you come into the waiting room. You fill out a questionnaire which asks you mostly about your photo history, not your medical history. And then you figure out what part of your body you would like me to photograph. Or if you can't, then we can discuss it. Some people come in with very specific ideas. Some people come in with no idea. So, it, you know, it's in the questions one can ask to kind of solicit information. And then whatever the agreed upon part or parts, sometimes people get more than one. And then while I'm doing it, the person can look at the, you know, the photos as I'm shooting. And um, they certainly look at it when I, after I've shot and we kind of edit together. So they have a say in what gets printed. And I like that it's a collaborative process. But I think it's an interesting way to get people involved in pho photographing and also their own self-imagery and also to have them interact with their bodies in ways that they wouldn't normally. There was a woman who came in, this was in Brooklyn, an older woman walked in, took her t-shirt off, had had a double mastectomy and lots of tattoos. And she was completely unselfconscious, which I thought was great. And um, proceeded to tell me that she gets a new tattoo for every year that she's still alive because she's a cancer survivor. And I thought she was really incredibly brave and amazing. Um, and I was absolutely not prepared for that at all. There was a guy who came in, this was in Las Vegas, an older guy, he was a retired prison guard. Um, and he was chatting, he was very excited about this thing. In the middle of whatever he was talking about, he said, and I'm thinking about sleeping with a man. It's like, okay. <laughs> and. Um, it was clearly a confession. I that said fine. I mean, and um, I mean, and then he wanted very specific parts of his body photographed, which I did. And I think for him there was it was like so massively permissive. That guy sailed out of there. I mean, he was. I I may have never have had a kinkier but happier patient, actually. I mean, I like staring at people and I now have a license to do it, and I like people telling me stories, so it doesn't really get better than that. And people keep those pictures, it's interesting. I mean, I meet people I don't know, but I, I did, and they usually tell me they still have them somewhere. So it's, it's, it's an interesting thing that people kind of keep. And if you walk around with them, it does help people ha you know, have conversations, and I like that people talk to each other in the waiting room, so there's a way that it promotes a kind of community.